Okay. So my stream is back. Hello. I just quickly restarted my stream from the last one so I could carry on playing but not have the exported footage be like eight hours or something stupid like that. So yeah. So welcome back to anyone watching on YouTube. Hello. Uh, last time we did all the huge freaking story intermissions between Act 1 and 2. And now we are back as the Luminary and we've just made it to Cobblestone, aka the Last Bastion. Where things have changed pretty significantly. So we're going to take a look around. Yeah, we can save here. So yeah, let's take a look around. Things have changed quite drastically. Still see the remains of a uh, cobblestone here. Whoa. Don't take too much now. Yeah, there are all new treasures to find that aren't the same as what was in Cobblestone originally. For a sage's elixir, huh? Okay. Oh, I can't jump from here, really? Not from here. What? I don't jump from anywhere? God damn it. There we go. Yeah, this is my house. What's left of it? Yeah, a lot of people set up camp here to survive. Oh, hey Raven, how's it going? How was your day? Getting all the exploring out the way first, so then I can just kind of get through. Pretty good overall for once. Nice. That's good to hear. On the rare occasion that it does happen, you know, at work. Tomorrow is Friday the 13th. Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> well, I guess you got all your, you got all your good luck out of the way now. So, you better be prepared. Eh? <laughs> Expect the worst. That's all I'll say. Okay. Uh, bastard sword. Yeah, literally. 
nothing special about this so why would you ever use it a night cleaver this is a new great sword um the only problem with it it's bitter attack power sure but the razor wing has that 12 percent paralysis chance so i'd rather have that oh see that's why you never surprise one exactly you know fortunately that's the way we gotta be <laughs> Yeah, I want my paralysis chance instead of raise attack power because if I want to boost my damage then I can just farm strength seeds So yes attack power matters, but it doesn't matter that much Yeah, hell of a lot has happened Things are very different now just looking at the sky will tell you. <laughs> oh, here they are. Yeah, they've kind of been waiting for me to follow them, but I've just been uh, kind of pissing around. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's the game changing the day and night cycle when it pans up to the sky. But if you're in a building, it'll just pan the camera up to whatever's uh, above you, which is kind of funny. Mama. On, girls, put your bags into it. The boys are out there doing the fighting, so it's up to us to keep the home fires burning. Sorry to interrupt, Amber, but I've got big news. Hello, Gemma, love. What's got you so excited, hmm? Well, you're not going to believe this, but there's someone very special here to see you. <gasps> My little soldier. I made it back. I, I just can't believe it's you. After all the awful things that happened, I was sure you were... Sure you were... <gasps> when the disaster struck, so many people lost their lives. The sun vanished, and those terrible monsters appeared all over the place. Even those of us who were lucky enough to survive were so drained and desperate that we almost lost the will to live. And then the hero appeared just when we needed him. He did all he could to help people, no matter who they were or where they were from. Yeah, we're hearing a lot about this guy. off the monsters and brought everyone here to safety without him i dread to think what would have become of us and now thanks to him the place you once knew as cobblestone has become the last bastion humanity's safe haven <laughs> in a world beset oh trust me trust me we're gonna get into what hendrick thinks don't you worry would you believe we've even got the king of heliodor camped out here Look, I know he was the one who ordered the village to be burned, but I'm sure he had his reasons. Things aren't always as they seem, love. He may be the last person you want to see, but you should go and talk things through with the king. Your grandfather would have wanted you to at least try. Just pop your head round the door of his tent, will you, love? For me? It's the one in the middle of the camp with the two flags. I mean, it can't be that bad. At least the King of Heliodor is no longer possessed by the... 
by the Lord of Shadows, you know? Yep, I'm back. Oh, it's Dirk's wife. I remember Dirk. I don't know where the hell he is. Probably in here somewhere. I've had a call for like the past week and I'm really sick of it now and it always decides to pipe up the most when I'm streaming it's really annoying because <laughs> I want to play the game so I'm trying to keep it in but uh yeah Oop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's the bank chest. Yeah, I'm hoping it doesn't get any worse. I'm, I I should be over the worst of it now. I had one day where it was really bad, but still just kind of lingering around. So yeah, but I head towards the king's tent. I think this area starts to blur together and I get confused for where I have and haven't been and have and haven't checked. Oh, here he is. No, no, that's not. Wait. Is that, that's not Dirk. Never mind. It just looks like Dirk. <laughs> Never mind. Oh yeah, so Jesper's gone, that's for sure. I think gone to lead the forces of evil. Hundred gold. You think I need a hundred gold? <laughs> well, there he is. He's in there. Hey, pal. Yeah, I haven't seen Eric. Um, although we as the player know what happened to him. Yeah, we got a hell of people camped out. Oh, it's the old mayor. Oh, no. Oh, poor guy. 
Yeah, these like the game doesn't hold back on actually fucking like killing off NPCs. This event actually had consequences. Alright, where the hell is the King's Ten? I've already forgotten. I guess this way. Oh, wait, it's this one. There we go. So, you are alive and well, I see. He still looks evil. <laughs> You have nothing to fear. I have regained my senses at last. The living nightmare that began for me on the day of your birth has ended. Though in truth, I remember little of what I did. I have inflicted so much pain on so many. On you. Ah, oh, it's all right, old pal. I do not ask for forgiveness. I do not deserve it. All I ask is that I be allowed to atone. To pay for my crimes by protecting those who remain. Tell me. Do you recall what happened on that fateful day? The events that came to pass beneath Yggdrasil's branches? I do. I see. I recall... Nothing. All I know is that whomever... Or whatever had me in its grasp for all those years left me there. And when at long last I returned to my senses, I was here. There is something else I must ask you. I see. <laughs> Your Majesty. The hero has returned. He brings more survivors seeking sanctuary. Come. You must meet he to whom we owe our survival. Though you may not wish to at first. Yeah, we got some awkward, uh, awkward things to line out with a certain someone. Yeah, we gotta settle some differences. Oh yeah, the game's getting... The game is getting interesting now, to say the least. Doo -doo. Probably missed a lot in the village, but... It's a big place to explore, and I just kind of want to keep on pushing on until I get to a certain point. <laughs> Hello there! Mr. Hendrick. Long time no see. Hmm. Luminary lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're kind of on the same side now, buddy. Welcome back, Hendrik. Well, what news? The forces of darkness amass at the gates of Heliodor. They will strike, and soon. Sire, the people must be removed to safety. <laughs> bonk him, bonk him now. Men, He's doing his best. All the signs are that our enemy will strike tonight. To arms! They shall not find us unprepared! As you see, he is as eloquent as ever. But you must forgive him. 
He has fought harder than any of us. He has sacrificed more than anyone, which is why his burden must be lightened. It is time that your differences were set aside, Luminary. Mankind needs you. Hendrik needs you. You know. Will you stand beside <laughs> him? Hendrik isn't a bad guy. Uh, you know, he's un he was under the orders of a corrupted king. It's not his fault, right? You know. Good. If we are able to withstand the assault tonight, we may yet survive. Join the troops outside the fortress when you are ready. Alright, so we've got a... An enemy assault upcoming. Yeah, thank god, uh... Thank god the city is fortified. Let's say that. Okay, I'm just gonna save quickly just in case. Even though... Sh what the fuck? Shouldn't have any problems. Hopefully not. But uh, we'll see about that. Some actual combat <laughs> after like three hours of cutscenes. Four hours of cutscenes and like a tiny bit of combat in between. Let's well, probably play it in 2D. No, I would not advise doing that. Um, yeah, definitely not advise doing that, at least for a first playthrough. Mainly because, obviously, everything is super condensed down. Um, on top of a lack of voice acting, random encounters um, that are very frequent, whereas in this mode, obviously, the enemies on the overworld. It's nice for a, a repeated playthrough and for s s certain sections, but I wouldn't play the whole game in 2D mode. I think, I think it's uh, it's just a nice addition. All right. Hey, you must be our newest recruit. They say you made it all the way to the last bastion under your own steam. Well, I'm impressed, I've got to tell you. <laughs> you can obviously handle yourself there, or you were born lucky. Well, either way, I'm sure we can find a use for you. Follow me. Relegated from the luminary right. to a generic Here's soldier. Your spot. Just face that way, and when the monsters come, stick the pointy end of your sword in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't look so worried. You'll be fine. I mean, we don't have our special s snowflake powers anymore. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a tough relationship to iron out. Enemy forces! Here they come! Holy crap! That's a lot of dudes. Positions, men! And this is when Dragon Quest turns into a Warriors game. <laughs> Can you imagine? Shit. 
<laughs> yeah. If you're too under leveled, <laughs> or like just getting shit on by the enemies, you can actually go and grind. And like you can go and leave and grind. This is pretty hilarious. Alright, an ambush. Nice. Yeah, they don't want to. They didn't want to soft lock you. So, the game does a lot of convenient stuff like that, which is really nice. Like you know how this game is very completionist. Like look at all these stats things. Like bestiary item, it lists all the items you've achieved to find. Like everything, none of it is missable. None of it. You can. There's always somewhere in the world you can find everything, in every stage of the game. Things are missable temporarily, but not permanently. So they they are very good with stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so while I'm doing a completionist playthrough of this game, I also don't have to worry at every second that I might have forgot to purchase a certain weapon so I don't get completion, you know? So, yeah, it definitely makes it a lot more player friendly. Yeah, you get some free MP recovery items here. <laughs> Don't talk to me, I'm pretending to be dead. Wow, is this scripted? Oh, I don't remember all the enemies being, uh, being ambushes for me. I'm not complaining though. Do do do. Well, maybe maybe they are scripted ambushes. No snowflake powers. Yeah, I'm still still kicking ass. Because I invested all my uh, all my skill points into swordplay, <laughs> and thankfully I have uh, plenty of MP recovery items. And yeah, I do happen to have 130 extra strength, which is nearly double my base. But uh, you know, it is what it is. Oh. Don't know if you have to fight all these guys, but. Once I finally get Sword Dance, I won't be spamming Unbridled Blade as much. I'll be spamming Sword Dance instead. Let's see if I go up to Hendrik. A bro moment. Never let down your guard. <laughs> you will need to pull your weight if we are to escape this one. Have at them. <laughs> No, it makes you think. Uh, it's no surprise that they made several uh, Dragon Quest Warriors games just from looking at this. Right, cause Dragon Quest Heroes or whatever it's called, one, two. I'm pretty sure they're the Warriors games. 
brightest and best of the spectral sentinels. Spectral yeah, look at this guy. Speak of thee, Hendrik. Thou art without a shred of guile. Any other would have fled the field long ago. <laughs> But I have no complaints. Our reward for tearing the limb from limb shall be a handsome one indeed. <laughs> well, fools. Like <laughs> Holy crap, that's a lot of enemies. Yeah, I think I should put up greatsword going. There it is. Yeah. That's why we put it up. Oh, I still get hit by shit. Yeah, look at this. Me and Hendrik fighting together. What do you know? Let's get these uh, scrubs out of here. Fuck you. You lowering my stats for. Nice. Damn it. I can heal myself. Yeah, this is why I wanted to get extra HP for the Luminary. If I was at base HP right now, this would be pretty rough. So I definitely suggest doing so if you're uh, playing on hard mode. Right, let's get this guy out of here. Yeah, I freaking lowered my attack, which sucks. But I can still one-shot them with Unbridled Blade. And the parrying is definitely helping, so Graceful God was a a good choice. Oh wow, that didn't one-shot. Oh fuck me. Ah, uh, shit. My shit's really low now. This freaking sucks. But I should be able to kill this guy if I hit. Which I don't. Uh, isn't that just great? Ah, uh, of course you have to blind me. Couldn't you blind Hendrik instead? I'm just gonna try and heal me anyway. I don't have anything that can... Heal shit like that in my inventory. Okay. <laughs> Hendrik, I need you to attack something because I'm blinded. Please, my friend. <laughs> I don't have anything. I could try and sleep these guys, but... I can't really do anything right now. I guess I could... Uh... Use a boom spell. Yeah, Hendrik, while he's not an official party member, is uh, a damage sponge, which is great. Okay, I might be screwed now if he crits me. Ah! Yeah, if I didn't raise my HP, I would have been dead. This boss is no joke, apparently. And I am still blinded. I have no freaking things to cure blind. Yes, please, Hendrik. Ugh. Okay. So I'm gonna have to go with magic. Ugh. Not nearly as much damage. 
This fucking sucks. Okay, my blindness is about to run off. That's good. Yeah, this is the problem about having character inventories is that I never think to put shit like that in my character's inventory. I just leave them in the in the bag. Well, my yeah, my attack's still lowered by two stages. That's really bad. A okay, forbearance, yeah, how oh, fuck yeah. Forbearance is one of Hendrix's best abilities. Yeah, every character has separate inventory. That is separate from the bag. So even if I have an item, if it's not in my character's inventory, then I can't use it in battle. So everyone doesn't have access to the bottomless bag, like in most RPGs. And this has been a thing in every Dragon Quest game. It can get a... It, there's benefits and drawbacks to it. For sure. Like Golden Sun. Yeah, I still haven't played that game, actually. I should, I should do that eventually. Commander, a message from His Majesty. He wishes to speak with you. Yeah, if I guess if I can give advice for that boss, for anyone watching, that would be uh, take blindness protection. And there uh, will uh, items in your inventory that can cure blindness. Yeah, I did not stock up the Luminaries inventory with anything. Uh, which is probably a bad idea. I should do that after this. Right away. Yeah, I've heard good things about Golden Sun for sure, so I will get to it at some point. <laughs> Emphasis on at some point because I've been really tempted to get Xenoblade uh, remaster on switch So I really do want to get into Xenoblade But uh, I've got a A big backlog as it is so I'm trying to hold off Just the GBA games. Yeah Yeah Not the DS one Guessing the DS one isn't as good What did he say? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like uh, Cobblestone's safe for now. Yeah, I should uh, put some crap in my inventory, like uh, a couple of Sages elixirs. It's not bad, just G runs way better. Oh, okay. That's fine. Sages elixirs. A couple. Uh, paralysis, paralysis, poison. Are oh, you blindness curing shit? Confusion, paralysis, sleep. Wow, really? Okay, interesting. <laughs> yeah, you could equip some stuff. Um, to get what we have. There'll be some accessories that protect against blindness, right? Surely. Or maybe not. Curses, dark attacks. Okay, maybe we don't have blindness protection. <laughs> Oh shit, I guess you're just screwed then if you get blinded. Maybe I could have crafted something that would, uh, that would give me it, but. Yeah, that's, uh. That's surprising. How close am I to a level up? <laughs> Not really that close. Aye, me and Hendrik together fought. In glorious combat. Not against each other, though. This guy's a cocky son of a bitch. 
I did all the work, damn it. I am. I'm alive. Just. I nearly died. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Like replaying on since you're like, yeah. You Honestly, it's uh, it's getting bad again for me. Cause I had a phase where I wasn't really playing any single player games, and now I'm like, I've got so much shit I want to play, so much stuff. You have proven your strength and your ability to work together. It is time, time to bring light back to this benighted land. Okay. The fiend that usurped my throne must be ousted. Heliodor Castle must be reclaimed. And you, my loyal servants, yeah. must lead the, the castle charge. would help. But, but, sire. I do not give these orders lightly, Hendrik. My spies have found a means by which we might gain an advantage. The city's sewers can be entered from the cliffs in the side of the hill atop which Heliodor stands. You will use these sewers to infiltrate the castle from beneath. Yeah. We've been there before a long, 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 long this time ago. Well, unlock the gate. But, sire. Who will command our forces in my absence? If the enemy renews the attack, we will be slaughtered. We will not. We will be prepared. Prepared to sewers. Draw out, leaving the castle unguarded. Everyone's favorite zone in any video game. Uh, the sewers from Elden Ring come to mind. The Holy fucking shit! While we have the chance. And the sewers we from Bloodborne. Well, we never see the light of yeah, the only, only part of Bloodborne I play the first like couple hours. You go in <laughs> one of the biggest sections in the first zone is a load of sewers. Please, Your Majesty, we cannot allow yet more lives to be lost. Precisely, which is why you must quell the darkness at its source. How you tread them? <laughs> it's not that bad. We seize our one opportunity, or we consign ourselves to despair. It is as simple as that. Honestly, I'd give anything to re replay Elden Ring again, like blind, like have my memory wiped and just be able to explore those zones again for the first time. Oh, <coughs> so good. Or do you question the wisdom of your king? My subjects have shown me the depth of their courage. I trust in their ability to endure this one last assault. And I order okay. you to do likewise. He ain't taking no for an answer. <gasps> you are our last hope. Something Do tells me we should probably down. kneel as well. <laughs> okay, so we have our mission. We're going to reclaim Heliodor. Just me and Hendrik. We're going to leave Cobblestone unguarded. Well, not unguarded, but unguarded from the heroes, you know. Okay, yeah. Gemma, I hope to return. Oh, yeah. Hmm, maybe I should... Yeah, I think for now, uh, because I don't really need the enemy drops. 
right now. I think I'm gonna equip a skull ring for now as well. I tried to forge this and rework it. Uh, but it's a, considered a pretty high level piece of gear. Like, high rarity. Like, look at the rarity B. Everything else we have, the C is the closest we've got. Skull ring's a pretty high rarity for us right now, so, uh... Yeah, last time I tried, at least, I could not get anywhere close to being able to rework it to a higher rank. But 30% dark damage reduction and cursed uh, attacks is uh, definitely still nothing to turn your nose up at. But yeah, we're heading out on a mission. Gonna have some bonding time with Hendrik. <laughs> Wait, I was gonna say, where's the door? <laughs> it all looks the same. <laughs> yeah, we're not leaving the, you know, we're not leaving it unguarded, but the people certainly don't feel the same without their hero being Hendrik, not us. Well, nothing but a grunt in these parts. To some degree. I don't know how it looked if I play Golden Sun, make some content like Windows Fusion Bitch. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that would definitely work. I'm finding that's a good way of doing content for sure. Um, if you want to play through a game. And present it in a people where uh, present it in a way where you are wanting people to watch. It, it it just opens it up to more people. Not saying that people don't watch at let's plays and walkthroughs because they absolutely do watch those. Um, but it a, a videos series like that definitely I think opens it up for people that don't want to commit time to watching a let's play. You know, so it definitely opens up to more casual viewers and a different audience for sure. Yeah, I've been pretty, sl I've been slacking a lot on the on the Nocturne uh, video just because I'm playing this game so much. But I'm I'm not abandoning it. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. I have every intent to keep playing Nocturne keep making those videos but yeah 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 okay yeah we can't zoom anymore we can only zoom to places we've revisited again it's worth the wait well thank you <laughs> i'm slowly working on it but i've just been playing this game so i don't get that much and still being able to you know make quote unquote content for my channel by doing so 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 yeah. What I want to start editing the the next Nocturne video fairly soon. Wait, love. <laughs> Mr. Hendrick, sir, I couldn't have a quick word with my boy, could I? I won't be long, I promise. As long as it is quick. Oh. <laughs> Son, son of a bitch. So you're heading off again, are you? Hmm. Didn't even get to tell Amber. Sure to listen to Sir Hendrick and do as you're told, and don't you dare go giving up. Um, I don't know, mother. I think Hendrick is. I think I may be stronger than Hendrick at this point. Just look at me, eh? Something's wrong with my eyes now, too. Must be all this squinting in the dark. Well, only one remedy for that. You'll just have to bring back the light. Promise? For you, I promise. <sighs> Time is short. We must be on our way. All right, chill. You Jesus. Look after my boy, won't you, Sir Hendrick? I nearly died. Hmm. Obsidian, see the lady back to safety. Obsidian ain't coming with us. 
That is the off then, buddy old pal. Yep. So yeah, just for, it, just for convenience sake, fast travels us to this church because there's no reason to make us wander through the mangle grove. So yeah, make a save and venture into the sewers. And yeah, Hendrik is still here as a AI bot. Which is rather annoying, but you know, he's also a damage sponge, so that's good. He just take hits for us. Yeah, we can buy the same stuff from this dude, but not really anything of value. Yeah, this whole place has uh, suffered the same fate. Yeah, there's no way we can get up into downtown Heliodor right now. And again, I'm not going to worry about fighting enemies in these zones and filling out the bestiary uh, right now. I want to just progress the story. Get, uh, get some more party members so I'm not on my own, you know? Because it kind of sucks. But I'll come back here later on. This guy wants something to do with me. I guess I'll kill him. Some flamethrowers. Oh, hell yeah. Not a nice critical hit. So yeah, we could actually come up here before, but there was no, like, entrance way. But now it's actually of significance. Yeah, we couldn't climb up this rock before. Here we go. Oh crap. We better be quick. So, the assault begins. Move. This is no time for idling. All right, mate. And we are in. Look at the zone from up here, eh? Wait, that's far down. That is far down, but yep, we're close to the castle. I'm gonna jump in Tesla. We already did that. <laughs> Me and Eric already made that jump <laughs> at the start of the game. Okay. Hmm, I wonder what's in here. This looks familiar, eh? Yeah, if you were uh, playing and you remember from the start of the game, we were, me and Eric were chased by a huge dragon. And now, I've come for my revenge, dragon. You made a fool of me then, but I'll make a fool of you now. On guard, bitch. Yeah. Hendrick's tattoo, I guess. Yeah. You would have kicked my ass back then, but, uh... 
I'm not the man I once was. Yeah, look at that damage sponge. Hendrik is definitely the best AI party member, for sure. His damage sucks, but he can support you and use uh, forbearance. Which makes him eat all the hits. Yeah, just like that. Forbearance is amazing. There it is. We got our revenge on the dragon. Hell yeah. Getting a little achievement for that, which is nice. The game recognizes uh, you coming back here. Okay, count off. Gotta have my moment. <clears throat> yeah, we're back in the sewers. It's been a while. Oh yeah, no, I know that's what you mean. He says that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get through all my magic water. Hey, get in now. And all these locked doors. Ooh, a strength seed. That's a spare, because that's gone straight into my inventory, because I have 99 of them. <laughs> all for good reason. Yeah, I did explain that uh, in a previous stream, I went in and I uh, pre farmed 99 strength seeds and 99 agility seeds. In preparation for the for the final character. Okay, Sage's elixir always good. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> Final character which isn't Hendrick, right? I don't know, man. You tell me. I wonder who the final eight character is. I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you. Come on, I can squeeze past to that guy. That's annoying. Wow, Hendrick. Wow. <laughs> Is him you cringe? Why? <laughs> Hendrick's not that bad. I like Hendrick. He was a misguided knight. It's not his fault. Oh shit. I think you can actually uh, farm agility seeds from these guys as well, but I don't suggest it. Aha. 
Mini medals. Whoops. Yeah, these tight hallways are pretty annoying. Yeah, this is where we first came in here from. No! Oh my god, go away! Holy shit! <laughs> Accept your fate. Damn it, Hendrik, just attack. Could have finished them all. Ashes, man. It's just crafting material. I mean, it's decently rare crafting material, but still. Oh, come on! You kidding me? Thank you. the sewers we're in the dungeons again I don't see that fancy that eh oh hella treasure hello iron head get out of here iron head gear oh on a trap chest Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I'm not getting my hopes up for this loot anymore. <laughs> At this rate. <laughs> like 5,000 gold. At this stage in the game, we're getting 5,000 gold. At least give me like 10,000. Or some of them, like, come on. What are you taking me for here? We like seeds of skill though, yeah. Seeds of skill are great. It's free skill points. I could use my seeds of skill right now and oh a seed of defense, nice. And uh get swords dance, but I kinda don't want to use the seeds of skill just yet. I'm hoarding like my life depends on it. A uh, lower level dungeon. This is. Whoops, come on. Let's feel C like that, cause, right? Because Final Fantasy VIII, yeah. I'm assuming it's because of the. It looks like you're just in the Final Fantasy VIII thing, but uh, I could be wrong. More Saints Ashes. I was talking about Final Fantasy VIII the other day, actually, on stream. 
I was just saying how I actually quite liked Final Fantasy VIII. Um, when I played it. But I couldn't finish it because of my fucking PC. For some reason, I have the remaster on Steam, right? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. So I have the remaster on Steam. And before I played it, I obviously heard that the backgrounds, like, they kind of didn't do a great job of the background images in the game. So I was like, okay, well, let me just, uh, let me grab this, like, HD texture mod for the, to fix the backgrounds. You know, no reviews saying it was a problem. And honestly, I still don't think it was the mod. So I installed the mod, played the game perfectly fine. And then after probably about, like, eight hours of gameplay or so, every once in a while, the game would just randomly crash. And I couldn't understand why, and I could, had no real way to test it. Because it would only happen, like, maybe an hour into gameplay. So I was like, okay, well, let me uninstall the mod and see if it was the day. mod. No, it still happened. I did a complete fresh install of the game. I uninstalled and reinstalled the game. Still crashed. And it's just like, well, fuck then. I, like, I don't want to test it anymore because it's such a pain to test. Because I can't really test it properly because it just happened so randomly. I don't want to waste time playing the game if it's just going to crash again. So I just I just left it. And I, I can play the game because I have it on my Switch, the remaster. So I could just play it on my Switch if I wanted to. But I just don't have the motivation to do that when I already like started it and then had to stop. And, like, yeah, I liked the game, but I didn't like it enough to, <laughs> to play it again anytime soon. But I will do it eventually. Let me go eat real quick. BRB. No worries, man. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, we're now actually inside Helidor Castle. This is Jasper's quarters. Ooh. Demon Spains, Demon Spears, Demon Whips, and Devil's Tales. Hmm, can I check those out now? Yeah, okay, cool. Demon's Bane, okay. This great sword is pretty okay. 20% bonus damage to demons, yeah, not bad. Good attack power. Uh, especially at plus three. I mean, it's a pretty significant jump on attack power. Demon Spear has a 4% chance of insta-kill, which is kind of cool. Demon Whip, 4% chance of beguiling demons. That's a pretty crappy chance, considering that the Demon's Bane does 20% extra damage. A 4% beguile chance on just demons is pretty crappy. Devil's Tales, uh, yeah, they're okay, but why would you use this when you could just use a score ring, you know? Um, I do really like the Razor, Razor Edge, though, still. But I guess I'll make one of these just because I can. And see if I use it. Let's get this going. Got a quadra bash. Well, that might be too much for the bottom ones, so. Oh, you bitch. Why? Stop. Oh my god, hello? Fucking quit that shit. Oh, really? Okay. Ugh. God damn it. Why? Still plus two, but that's fucking annoying. <laughs> Oh, 
whatever. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty significantly better attack power, but I like paralyzing. Oh, I'll equip it for now. Uh, this razor edge still. Oh, I'll put the uh, razor wing, sorry, in my inventory. Okay, so let's take a look around. Yeah, the whole castle has been trashed. Once this of uh certainly made this place a new home for them. Listen. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, this is like Hendrick's home, right? So. This would be, uh, pretty devastating to see. Steady on there. Not bad. Stairway lies in ruins. The usurper will be in the throne room if he is anywhere. He must be found and punished, which means we must seek another way up. <laughs> you got it. We'll fight this new enemy here as well. I am the maiden. Victory will be ours! Get it? Huh. Can't view nearby monsters. It's a Heliodor region, it's not Heliodor Castle. Maybe it just isn't a listing. I guess, if anything, most of the monsters that will appear here will appear elsewhere as well. So, not worried about it. I've, I've killed everything I've seen so far anyway. Alright, before we get into this, I'm just going to go quickly to the bathroom again. Uh, so I'll be back in just a second here.
Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. And whoa, 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 whoa. controller. Ugh, it's fucking cable. There we go. Come, Jasper, do your worst. If you insist. Curse you, Hendrik. Root strength wins the day again. <laughs> it is good to see two young men with such spirit. Huh? Hmm? But I order you to cease your horseplay and greet our latest arrival. I present. Princess Jade. Oh. Hmm. When you grow older, you will be the guardians of this great kingdom. I Welcome back, man. You. Go back just at the same and time now, as I did. <laughs> so is she. Hmm. <laughs> With my might and your wisdom, we will surely be the greatest knights this kingdom has ever seen. Long may we protect the princess and all her people. Jasper, are you listening to me? What is this? Why, the shield of Heliodor, of course. Symbol of the kingdom's greatest knights. His Majesty keeps it in his private chambers. If we are destined to become such men one day, one of us will surely wear it. I would very much like to see it, wouldn't you? <laughs> and how do you propose to do that? One cannot simply stroll into the King's chambers uninvited. Oh, I have my ways. I just so happen to spy a certain someone treating himself to a midnight feast in the kitchens. No, oh, ja Jasper's been one of the central antagonists. I suppose you probably haven't seen him, but yeah, he's the other of the King's Knights that, um, well, kind of took to uh, the evil side of the, the King when he was possessed. None other than his royal majesty. He slithered out of a secret passage behind a cupboard and set about the leftovers. That passage must lead to his chambers. The dark side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you devil. You've solved the mystery of his bulging belly. The queen will make you an whoa, for such whoa, a whoa, whoa. To the kingdom. We meet in the kitchen at midnight. Agreed? Agreed. Of course, the passage to the king's chambers. But what was that? A vision? A dream? So this is your power, Luminary? Y you are able to draw on the memories amassed within the world tree? To pry into others' pasts. Very impressive. The kitchen is on the north side of the castle, beyond the banqueting hall. Come. You wish to speak with me?
Let us be going. Hmm. In here, I presume. Ah. Yeah, I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure. I did not make it here that night, you know. I was caught trying to slip out of my chambers. The king made me polish all the armor in the castle. Jasper was disgusted with me. We had a furious argument. We had so many in those days. But there was more happiness than strife. Life was simple. We had a purpose. We would have stood together in defense of Heliodor no matter what. I have treated you poorly. Forgive me. Oh, an apology. Holy shit. My loyalties have been tested, but not by you. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. Will you stand beside me? Hmm. Heck yeah. Yeah, the thing about the sword is that it's like significantly better attack than my old one. Like over 30. Which I guess is, you know, it's still not much. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It does have an effect on demon family. I don't know what is considered a demon monster. That's the only problem. Um, but, uh, yeah. A leather cape? Are you shitting me? A leather cape? Ooh. King axes, king's coats, and queen's robes. Heck yeah, that's some good shit we can craft. Now, oh, funnily enough, axes. Well, those aren't a weapon type we've seen before. No one in our previous party used axes. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, King's Coat. Uh, these are good. Uh, they're basically just better than the Princess P coats. So they're straight up an upgrade. Same with these uh, queen's robes. So considering I have a princess, princess P coat on at the moment, I will make one of these. Yeah, like there's some troll loot in this game, man. Honestly. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can actually uh, get this one plus three. Not that it matters, it's really. Okay. Okay, nice. Power of next strike doubled. Okay, that's good. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, one of them went a bit over, but... This is still... Doable. I don't think it'll be plus three, though. Plus one. Holy shit, game. Guess I fucked it that bad. Ah, it literally doesn't matter. I don't need the substats. <laughs> the elemental resistance doesn't go up uh, when you plus three it. Yeah, it's it's literally just very minor stats, which do not matter. But yeah, it's an upgrade. Yeah, you know what, man? I think the Razor Wing is just better, actually. I've decided. The paralysis is just better. Another recipe book. Some rings. Ooh, loads of shit. 
Loads of different rings we can craft. And Marcus's mittens. I have, I have a pair of those already, but they're good. They're pretty good. Yeah, let's check out uh, the recipes we just got again. So these are just stats protection rings, which is nice. Uh, this one is worthless. Just, yeah, get a skull ring. Poison. Blo yeah, see, we could have used this before. Full moon ring. Yeah, so these are just all your status protection. Sorcerer's ring. Post MP. Re uh, restoration 10. Not really too bothered about that. And then this is just a magic buff. So these are all okay. They're situational though. Later on, we'll get stuff that protects against multiple uh, ailments, which is, of course, uh, better. But they're serviceable for right now. Da -da -da. Oh, Raven, I was going to ask you, uh, after this... Um, I'm gonna get to a certain point and then I'm gonna stop for the day, but after this I might play some Nocturne if you're... While well, you're still awake, of course. Because I'm probably gonna finish the stream up fairly soon, so... If you're around... Do the, uh, next dungeon. Nice. I won't play too late, I just wanna actually, like... I haven't played it in quite a few days, so I want to just keep in the groove of it, you know? A treasure chest? A gold bar? Holy crap. Holy crap. All right, well, I think it's uh, well, nearly time to head in the throne room. It's Iron Maiden enemies are guarding it by the looks of things. I'm gonna check up here first, though. Oh yeah, I get to I get to point something out, I think. Pretty sure this is where I get to show you something cool. If I can find it here. Let's be further up. Da -da -da. Wait. Huh? Oh, I think it's the other one. Oh. Must be the other side, which we can't get into. Or well, maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just past this door. Yeah, here it is. So, <laughs> way back at the start of the game, when we first come into Heliodor Castle, you'll if you walk through here, there's a chandelier on the ceiling, just like this one. And there's a shiny spot on the chandelier. And you look at it, and you're like, how? <laughs> how the fuck do you get that? But uh, now that we've come here and it's been ruined, the chandelier has fallen and the sparkly spot is on the ground. I just think that's a really cool touch. I really, I really do like that. Because, like, you're solve it, it solves you that mystery from way back when when you, you looked at it and just thought, How? <laughs> How? <laughs> How the fuck do you get that? Because there's no way up onto the ceiling. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Not in this game. You can't jump to get it or anything like that. So. I just think that's a neat little thing. Right, get out of my way. Okay, there we go. What is lying beyond this door? Wow, you look different. Holy shit. You have done well to make it here, old friend. 
And with the darkspawn in tow, no less. Oh, bravo. Jasper. Yeah. Temper, temper. <laughs> Vampire, a kind of. won the day once upon a time. But things are very different now. <laughs> He's gonna make the TV. <laughs> Oh my god, he actually kind of looks like him. <laughs> no. Espero <Yeah>. so. <laughs> Why? Why did you give yourself to the darkness? What of our pact? We swore fealty to Heliodor. We promised to protect the kingdom together. Why? You, of all people, ask me why? <laughs> Does something amuse you, traitor? It is I who must ask you why, surely. Yeah, I think he's kind of powerful. <laughs> why is it that you always thought yourself so much better than me? Why was it always you who was given the golden opportunities? Why was it always you who got just what you wanted? Mage clubbing warrior stuff. Yeah, but he, this dude has like the, the powers of a nearly a god. Nearly, not anywhere why? near, but nearly. <laughs> Tell me why! He's been bestowed a great power. You can't just do more than just fly around. <laughs> Although I'm still gonna kick his ass later. second best no longer I know the truth now love dreams light friendship all these count for naught all that matters is power and the only power that matters is that of the darkness mm. There is one who sees the worth in me. Chaos. Who deserves my fealty. Who gives me the power I crave. If he said chaos, I would have lost it. stand in his way must be destroyed. I lost my hometown. My family, my friends, all to the dark power that you serve. I lost my faith, my purpose. Though some called me hero, I believed I was a fraud and that I was powerless to protect them. But I can. You want a blood splatter or something? <laughs> I must. And there is one I must protect above all others. It is the luminary's duty to deliver the world from evil. Yeah, we're bros and now. It is my duty to protect him. Jasper, you are a traitor to your kingdom, a servant of evil, and a threat to the servant of light. I sentence you to death. Yeah. Hendrix redemption arc. <laughs> really? Old friend, forgive me if I do not begin quaking just yet. So you can kind of see the uh, the shit that both sides have had to put up with, but uh, 
you actually uh, kind of understand what what Hendrix's whole deal was, and Jasper's too. Because until now, you just kind of think Jasper's an angry boy. <laughs> You will outdo me no longer, Hendrick. This yeah. Time it is so when you said vampire, you weren't wrong. This is phase you, two. Who will fade into obscurity. <laughs> this is as far as two. <laughs> Count your debuff. Count for yourself. Jasper. <laughs> yeah, we're not in any position to fight Jasper yet. And he just doesn't want to, so he's just gonna let his, uh, his little minion do it for him. Yeah, I have a feeling this girl used dark attack, so I equipped the scoring. Well met, worms. I am Tyriant, servant of the Lord of Shadows, and proud bearer of the title of Spectral Sentinel. Hey, Kush, look, it's the Skull Knight. You would return the world <laughs> to brightness, ah, fools, ah, wretches. The time of light worms. is no more. The age of darkness looms. All is as the Lord of Shadows wills it. As long as I yet live, the dawn shall not return to this place. Everything is a berserk now, reference. Step forward, friends. Eternal night awaits. <laughs> Holy shit, that laugh. Give it a rest. Accept your fate. Alright, Hendrik, you better help me out here. Alright, we're both putting up our stances, apparently. Uh, yeah. I don't really have any, like, debuffing shit I can do with Illuminary, so... Fuck you. Yeah. How do you like them apples? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. He does he does use dark attacks. So scoring is a good choice for this fight. Yeah, it's actually eating hits on most things you've seen today. Ooh, a doppelganger. This makes things interesting. Let's get this out of the equation. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, I can always rely on Hendrik to give me MP back as well. Nice. That is why... Parrying and great swords are so good, and why you want to get countering on this great sword tree. Oh, but yes, it's a sword mastery tree because it's pretty fucking good. Yeah, double fucking counter <laughs> is perfect. Like over the course of this battle, my countering is actually going to add up to like a pretty significant amount of damage. And he's putting his stance back up. That's fine. I'm gonna put my own stance back up. Turning on my tank stance, if you will. <laughs> wow. We're just exchanging parries at this point. <laughs> what are you going on about? <laughs> I'm 
man, Hendrik, your damage. Oh no. Fuck you, man. You can hit Hendrik all you want. Hendrik is my damage sponge. Just kill this thing. Oh, come on, man. Oh, no. Oh, this might have been a mistake. Oh, no. Oh, that was fucking lucky. That was a lucky parry. Holy shit. That killed... That, that was how much damage I was missing. Well, thank you, Hendrik. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, my, my darling darkness. Do not leave me. Do not let the light Maybe I should have equipped that other do uh, great sword after all, huh? I mean, that guy was probably considered a demon enemy, so yeah, maybe that was a slight oversight on my part. But yeah, we got the purple orb back. So actually, well, I don't know if that's the purple orb, actually. I can't remember. I think I'm going to go around trying to recollect the orbs, though. Dragon Balls! Yes, once again, we're going after the Dragon Balls. Yeah. Looks like a little bit of light has been restored to Heliodor, by the looks of things. Obsidian. Thank the heavens I have one truly faithful friend. The darkness may have dissipated, but we cannot know what toll the battle took. We must yep. return to the last bastion and see what... Kind of, kind of left them. Remains. Got on my horsey. Hmm. <laughs> it's on. This time the horse is the Giga Chad. Fist of the North. I haven't read Fist of the North Star yet. It's on my list of things to read, funnily enough. Yeah, I've wanted to uh, to read it for a while, but I feel like with it's one of those things I need to be in the right uh, right mood to read. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend time killing any of these new enemies. I'm just gonna rush back to cobblestone. I'll grab this uh, campfire though. So it should be on my zoom list now. Yeah. Man, you can't jump on this wall. It's not like torrent. I'm trying to jump over fences and shit. <laughs> Don't use this horse nearly as much as I use Torrent in Elden Ring. <laughs> also, I find it absolutely hilarious. I don't know if this was intentional. I can't remember what video I was watching either. Someone in the video I was watching about Elden Ring made a joke that... And I don't... This could very well be true. I don't know if Miyazaki said that this is true or not. That Torrent is named the way he is so that if people search online Elden Ring Torrent all they get is pictures of a horse. I just thought that was absolutely genius. Whether that's true or not is <laughs> uh I don't know, but I just thought that was great. <laughs> I desperately hope it was intentional though. Oh. Everyone okay? 
no people around. What the hell happened? Hello? Where the hell is everyone? Someone! Anyone! Your Majesty! Please. Somebody! Wait. That noise. <laughs> We got chebated. We get a hero's return. I mean, we restored the light to the region. And it's just one small step of the way. You did it, Hendrik. You saved us all. <gasps> My way, let me through. <laughs> let me look at you in the daylight at last. Oh, yes, my handsome. Yeah, I don't think soldier. Hendrik was the one that. Uh... Hero, just look at you. I mean, did you see the damage difference? <laughs> you set aside your differences with Hendrik, with me. And fought to bring back the light. We are forever in your debt. All in a day's work, my friend. The world is still in a desperate state. But now we have something. We have hope. We have the luminary. May you banish the darkness. Yes, yeah, where's my money? For all. Hendrik. You're a king, right? You gotta have money. Ever faithful knight. Today's victory is as much yours as anyone's. Your strength, too, will be needed in the struggle to free the world from evil. You know what you must do. The people of the last bastion will learn to make do without you. Mm. As I hope will I. Hmm, <laughs> what could he mean? So please, do not hesitate. Do what you know you must. What could he be talking about? Honored luminary. <laughs> I serve you now. Though it cost me my life, I will stand beside you until the darkness is no more. So yes, the final and eighth character of the game is Hendrik. Who would have thought it, eh? Yeah, rip infinite HP. Dawn breaks but in I tell you what, his damage the is going to be better now. The victory in the fight against the darkness is ours! And I get to do my favorite thing and talk and blab about the character and how he should build them. It's like my fucking favorite thing to do in this game. <laughs> oh, trust me, those seeds are gonna be flying. Flying. 
Yes, we are the best of the best, dude. Ooh, baby, Hendrix in the party. Let's go. I've been excited for this the whole time. For a long time, I've been excited for this. So, yes, sir. So, what I'm going to do is really quick. Just to run to a save. Just in case. I don't know how I would fuck anything up, but just in case I fuck something up. I'm going to run over to the church. Um... What are we gonna do now? Let's talk. Precisely. Right, okay, we just gotta go talk right to everyone. Uh, no, I'll be fine. So, okay, let's talk about Hendrik. There's a lot to talk about. Because Hendrik is a very unique character. So, obviously he comes in pretty late. Very late. And, yeah, you might expect... As you might expect, sorry, he is kind of given to you as a tank style character. So he's slow as balls. As you can see, his agility is fucking nothing. I mean, look at my agility compared to his. He's absolutely slow as balls. Um, but he has very good strength, good HP, all that good stuff. Um, in terms of as well, he comes with some magic. So he has some supporting magic. He has uh, some minor heals. Nothing amazing. You know, you're not going to be using Hendrik as a healer, but he has heals. And he has, most notably, buff and kabuff, which is pretty good. So he gets a few supporting spells. So let's look at his character builder here. So, yeah. Hendrik has access to swords, axes, or great swords as his weapon types. And he also, very unique to him, has a skill tree for shields. Even though other characters can use shields... Eric is the, uh, uh, Hendrik, sorry, not Eric. Hendrik is the only character in the game that has a skill tree for them, which is pretty unique. And then he also has his unique uh, personal skill tree, which is heroism. So I'll talk about all the weapons you can go with because there's a pretty clear cut choice of what's the best. Uh, I'm just gonna say axes are my way to go for Hendrik. I think axes and a shield. Axe and a shield, and then at some points you can also dual wield axes. But I go with axe and shield for Hendrik. I think his great swords are very subpar. I think the luminary is much better with great swords in every way. Let's take a look at great swords. I'm on topic. So great sword god, that's good. Obviously we have that as well. Then he gets some parry chance. You know, same as the luminary. He gets Cutting Edge, yeah, whatever, Frost Fangs, so he gets the same stuff, and I'm pretty sure under here is Unbridled Blade, in fact, let's just check, uh, to make sure it is, um, I know what I'm talking about, yeah, Unbridled Blade, as you can see, this is a pretty limited selection, uh, of stuff, I mean, he has kind of the same bread and butter, uh, abilities that the Luminary has, so, you know, he, he's serviceable with great swords, but, there's just not enough here to warrant. He doesn't have the counter when parrying trait like the Luminary has. Uh, at least I don't think he does. I might be remembering that wrong. He doesn't have access to things like Sword Dance. Uh, his passives aren't as good, in my opinion, that he gets. And the Luminary just gets access to better stuff than Great Swords overall. And I'd just rather... Even though his Great Swords are okay, I'd rather use other stuff with him. Uh, I'll talk about swords next, because swords are the other thing. A lot of people probably like swords on Hendrik, uh, mainly because, well, he gets access to a lot of good sword skills. Like, he gets, like, a crit passive, he gets sword stance. More notably, he gets falcon slash, and then I don't know if he has access to it yet, but... but yeah, he gets dual wielding under his sword tree, which is obviously good. And then in his heroism tree... Um, he gets Gur Falcon Slash. Four ferocious attacks that put the Falcon Slash to slain. To shame, sorry. I can't fucking talk. So, this is like, yeah, a, a better version of Falcon Slash. So you might think, well, this is pretty good. Well, it's actually like, it's, it's still good when you, uh, especially when you raise the strength. But... The damage is not what you'd actually be expecting, just from what I've seen. And again, it's still good. I'd just rather use other stuff. So, Hendrik's a pretty versatile character, and you, you can't really go wrong. But 
the game presents him as a tank and i think his best place is as a tank so axes in my opinion are the way to go axe and a shield 100 percent the way to go he has some really good axe stuff um helm splitter pretty low cost and it saps defense parallax this skill right here is very deceptive it says it can just it's just it seems like just an attack that can paralyze an enemy which it does uh but it also has a multiplier on your damage and i think it's something ridiculous like he just like 2.5 times his base damage with this so this is just all around even if you're not trying to paralyze a pretty damn good axe ability um attack while wielding hatchet man is like thunder thrust really good it's just either a miss or a guaranteed critical strike scrap metal aggressive attack and sometimes low in enemy's defense i believe this is just an upgraded helm splitter so yeah when you have uh scrap metal you're basically just always better off using that than helm splitter and then under here is axes of evil which is like a group aoe axe attack i think it's it's a pretty good one as well i tend to use it quite a bit so yeah axes he's just got a lot of good stuff obviously he's offering that support as well in certain situations by sapping defense uh i'll just double check the attribute menu to see uh yeah axes yeah axes of evil really nice aoe so that's really good and then for shields you know this is when hendrick really shines he is a tanking god um later in in the game when we get forbearance which was the skill that he was using as an ai bot which is actually hilarious because he can't get forbearance it's forbearance doesn't exist on hendrick's skill tree until act three so i find it hilarious that his ai version uses it when he doesn't even have access to it on his skill tree until act three um but yeah immense defense uh just increases your block chance i don't tend to use it that often but it's, it's all right then a bunch of uh yeah block chance passive defense when wearing holy impregnable protect the user from all ailments i never really tend to use this but i guess it could be all right more block chance you know plus four percent that's pretty significant block and spiel uh i don't think this is any good i've never really used it uh and then it leads into his heroism tree which is where some more good stuff is but i think there's more to shields i just want to check uh shields uh yeah so desperate measures I, again, didn't really use this. Uh, back at you. So yeah, like a counter. Countering attack. This is all stuff you have to cast, so I don't tend to use it too much. But they could be okay. But there's better stuff later on. But you're mainly going into the shield uh, tree for the block chance buffs and just some other stuff. These are all, like, decent. They're pretty situational. Later on in Act 3, he'll get uh, even better stuff, I believe. But mainly the, the shield tree is a convenient way to get into here in this heroism tree where he gets blind man's biff which is okay this gets better later so don't worry about it for now but double up is really good uh sacrifices a bit of defense but it buffs his attack so that's a really nice skill i'm getting that and then it gives him access to you know all this other stuff double edge slash is pretty good as well uh again i believe this gets upgraded later and then uh i forget what's under there i think that's not good falcon slash is it a cut above like i can't like, i'm hendrix a lot of hendrix skills i struggle to remember mostly because i just end up using like the main ones we're gonna be using double up uh axes of evil parallax you know you kind of stick to the same few uh but yeah hendrix has a hell of a lot to offer so i actually do need to head to a church funnily enough uh, there's one down here. I need to remove his skill points and re reallocate them. And then I've got to feed him all the seeds. That's going to be fun. Because you can't bulk feed seeds, so I have to do it one by one. Uh, rectification. Here we go. So, yeah, remove... Remove all this. I'm just going to... Yeah, remove this. And remove from great swords i don't want my crap but the other two can stay because i'll be putting them up anyway so let's get what we want i definitely want to go for yeah parallax for sure 
And then I want Hatchet Man, so let's go around this way. Scrap Metal can wait. No. Yep, here we go. And then Axes of Evil. Really nice. And then what I'm considering is putting the points into shields and grabbing this and this. And then reallocating. Uh, I'm up for another couple hours, by the way. Okay, cool. Yeah, Hedrick's an amazing character, and he gets way better uh, the further you go on, for sure. Yeah, I'm just going to allocate this shit, and then uh, I'll be calling it a day for the stream. Yeah, I think what we do, let's go like this. Like this, and then... Now this is in the heroism tree, I can reallocate these points, because I don't need these... I don't need this Lockenspiel. Rectification, so I can remove the points from shields. This is like a cheeky little exploit you can kind of do. Yeah, I still keep the panel in heroism. So then I can grab double up. It's nice, and then I can still grab this stuff here. I want the block chance. I just don't have to waste the points on blocking spiel. I want to go down. Ooh, I, uh, actually. I want to go up this way anyway because I want the block chance, but I wanted to get double up as soon as possible, so still a gain. And yeah, so I farmed 99 seeds of strength and 99 agility seeds. I farmed 99 agility seeds because, well, Hendrix agility sucks balls. Um, and obviously, 99 agility seeds is going to give me like 200 agility, so he's going to be faster than the luminary by a lot. But I want my tank to be fast, especially later when I get stuff like forbearance. When I'm going to be taking hits for the other party members. Um, yeah, I'm going to give him these seeds of life as well. Just to bump his HP up. You know what I'm going to do as well? I'm going to want to line up and move him into the top spot. So I don't have to keep pressing down. Uh, see the magic? Yeah, he needs the MP. Alright. So, anyone want to talk about anything for a while? <laughs> How how how's the weather? <laughs> yeah, so this is probably a bit overkill. Um but I just felt like doing it, you know. Hendrick is going to be pretty insane. And we're going to need it. And I'm going to show you how freaking good his axe skills are. It's going to be amazing. I've been really excited to get Hendrik in the party this whole time. But yeah, this is a very tedious process. Uh, this is something that should have been fixed in this version of the game, in my opinion. This should... Please, if <laughs> someone out there at SE, Dragon Quest XII, you got to fix this shit, man. Where is the bulk consume option? Because this is ridiculous. But yeah, he's about to surpass the Luminary in terms of strength. So he's going to do a lot more damage. Yeah, I can really do with the speed up button right now. It's going to be in the map. <laughs> if they charge 45... Yeah, no, honestly, if they released another version of this game, there would be riots in the streets. I would not want to see that. <laughs> Okay, we're nearly done with the strength. We just gotta pump in the agility. And he's gonna be a zooming boy. Because I don't like how slow he is at all. I highly, if you don't wanna raise his strength, that's fine. I highly, highly advise at least raising his agility by a bit. You can see how dreadful it is all right now. It's not good. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. <laughs> Almost got it. Almost got it. <laughs> Almost there. 
my thumb hurts. But it'll all be worth it. Yeah, exciting content. Okay, we've surpassed, surpassed the luminary now. Only going up from here. So close. I guess since he's the tank, I'll give him these seeds of defense as well. Yeah, incredible gameplay. True, truly incredible. All right. And one last one. There we go. There it is. Yeah. That is one satisfying uh, screen. Yeah, I kind of uh, went a little crazy, but... It's all worth it. And yeah, get that great sword off. Let's get you that. that oh, oof, I need a better shield. I need a better shield. God damn. Mercury bandana. Yep. Just pea coat. Hmm. Oh, zombie mail. Ooh. Zombie mail could be good. It's the dark damage reduction. I'm gonna put my bunny tails on again now. Yeah, token of fealty is like his unique um, talisman, but doesn't really do anything special. Yeah, yeah, I need a shield. Well, I'm gonna be getting one in an event very soon. Yeah, axes are fucking awesome, man. Really good shit. I put my lineup back as well. So yeah, I got a speedy tank now. That's gonna be really, really nice. 279 agility. That's more than Eric. So hell yeah. But yeah, uh, after that amazing gameplay, I'm gonna end this stream here. Considering I'm out of church. So I can save and shit. Yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching. I really appreciate it. I've streamed in total for like six hours today. Like six and a half hours. Which is like unheard of for me. Between this stream and the one I reset for. So, yeah. Thank you very much. I'll see you not tomorrow. I'm busy tomorrow, but I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Have a excellent evening.